my God. You know what? I, maybe I'll just write another one. I maybe. <laughs> That is a joke, but you have no idea I've never come closer than standing up here tonight. Um, oh God, Emma's finished me. Rupert's now crucified me. Um, I love ginger people. This is my favorite ginger person right behind me. <laughs> okay, right. Coherent. So, the first person I need to thank is David Heyman, who persuaded me to trust film people. <laughs> and we're really here because of him because it's just incredible to look back and think that I was so wary of the books being filmed and I would have missed this so then I also need to thank David Barron I'd be surprised if any living human being ever found a bad word to say about David Barron just humanly impossible Steve Clovis who has been an incomparable collaborator and my dearest friend. I just can't say enough about Steve. Uh, right, calm down. Oh, our amazing, our amazing directors from the inspirational Chris Columbus who put this family together um, and just set us on the right track. <laughs> to Alfonso and Mike who each brought their own stunning vision to the film. And lastly, and what, what can I say that's enough about David Yates, who's directed the last three and four, four, I knew that. <laughs> three books, four films, that's right. And uh, I, I just know that everyone who watches Deathly Hallows Part 2 is going to see that he steered us home magnificently. It's incredible. And... Of the actors, I can only say I could never have dreamt the talent we'd have in these films, but there are seven that in private I refer to as the big seven. And that's Dan, Rupert, Emma, Matt, Ivana, Bonnie, and Tom. And they, they cannot know how much I love them, how, what amazing things they did for my favorite characters. And I just thank them for lending us their talent and all their hard work. And then finally, as everyone else has said, but I need to say it most of all, no story lives unless someone wants to listen. So thank you, all of you. Um, Thank you for queuing for the books all those years. Thank you for camping out in a wet Trafalgar Square. And you know what? Oh no, no, I'm already crying, don't. I know there are people all over the world right now waiting for the cinema, for, in cinemas for the film to start. But Dan has already said it, the stories we love best do live in us forever. So whether you come back by page or by the big screen, Hogwarts will always be there to welcome you home. So we're gonna roll the film now. Thank you so much. <laughs>